gentlemen, for those of you who don't know me or weren't paying attention, I'm Dan and I am the best man. <laughs> Firstly, I would just like to say it's wonderful to see two people so happy and in love together today who have much to look forward to. Me, I'm single by choice. <laughs> Mostly the choice of the women I date. <laughs> A lot of people say a best man speech is difficult and they're complicated and they go on too long. But to be honest, my speech should be pretty easy today. I've got to stand up here in front of all of you lot and talk about someone who's good looking, funny, dedicated, a real joy to be around. But today's not about me. <laughs> when Kevin asked me to be his best man, apart from the shock, horror look on my face, <laughs> naturally I had many questions. What had I done to deserve such an honour? Who would drop out? <laughs> <laughs> was I really the best he could come up with? <laughs> but my number one question truly was, could I actually turn the job down and still expect an invitation to stuff my face and get drunk today? <laughs> In the end, having accepted the role, I'm pretty happy with the way things have worked out. From a best man's perspective, everything's gone smoothly. For starters, I've gone through not one, but two stag dudes. For those of you who haven't been on Facebook. <laughs> And I had a little help from Daddy Mike and the boys in that. <laughs> That's for you, isn't it? Today, he also arrived sober, an achievement which some of you will, will know should be underestimated with our track record of going out. And most importantly, in this time of economic uncertainty, I successfully resisted the urge to post the winning rings to cash for gold. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> but speaking of the stag do, I want to touch on an incident I feel should be shared here today. <laughs> As you on stag will remember this. I hope. <laughs> I know the phrase what happens on tour stays on tour usually applies. Rob. <laughs> but this is just too good an opportunity to miss to embarrass you. So we recently ventured to Cardiff for our first stag do. We were there all weekend and on one particular evening, Kevin may have had one too many shots of Sambuca. <laughs> Never said was pointing the finger at Rob. During a drunken stumble looking for the toilet, Kevin realised that maybe, just maybe, he wasn't going to make it there in time. <laughs> Before that pre-mentioned Sambuca oh reappeared. <laughs> Realising things were about to get messy, Kevin reacted with something I've never seen before from Kevin, some unbelievable technique. He raised his half-full pint glass to his face and he proceeded to regurgitate. <laughs> with minimal spillage. <laughs> of course, like any best man, I had to look for some inspiration when writing my speech, which I've been writing for about six months, <laughs> even before I was asked. <laughs> so I asked some friends and family of Kevin's about Kevin. Describe him in some words to me. A lot of people said he's a first-class banker, but being in retail, I figured I'd misheard <laughs> Some other words you could use to describe Kevin are charming, intelligent, and entertaining. But no one said that, so I'm not going to include it. <laughs> I would like to take this opportunity to thank both Kevin and Elizabeth for being great friends to me over the years. Elizabeth, you make a stunning bride. But ever since I've known you, you've always been, how would you put it, a little bit fabulous? <laughs> I'm sure everyone here today will agree with me when I say how beautiful you look on this very special day. Yeah. Now, there are not many best men who can describe the bride as a true friend, as well as the groom. 
Well, I'm lucky in that I can do exactly that. It's a great honour, albeit the most terrifying experience of my life, to be asked to be best man here today. I just hope neither of them ask me to do it again, because I won't be bloody doing it. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, on behalf of the bridesmaid, Victoria and Caroline, who I must say look beautiful, and not to mention the ushers, James and Craig, and you boys haven't scrubbed up too bad either. <laughs> Thank you for choosing us to be part of your special day. As the best man, I really should grasp this opportunity to reveal to you all of Kevin's past misdemeanours. <laughs> Fortunately, I have played a big part in my season. <laughs> and I really do not want to tarnish my impeccable reputation. <laughs> What's left of it? <laughs> so instead, I'm going to keep things very short and talk about some of Kevin's achievements. He's come a long way in his job as a store manager. He's done a spot of modelling as the face of Game Station. Because <laughs> he doesn't tell everyone that when he meets them. <laughs> and some of you will know that Kevin fancies himself as a bit of an actor. And by actor, I mean he's a drama queen. <laughs> <laughs> of course, drama queen aside, he was in several of the Harry Potter movies. <laughs> Which is a bit ironic and a bit of a coincidence, because when I was younger, I used to look like Harry <laughs> My mother is here today, and I'm sure if you ask, she'll show you the picture. <laughs> But seriously, Kevin has come a long way since I've known him and achieved a lot in his career, in his personal life. And it's been great to say that I've been part of that as his friend. I've got many stories I can tell about Kevin. One of my favourite stories was about how accident prone he is. He was always breaking. <laughs> <laughs> Where's this going? Where's this going? But alas, that story has not been deemed for public consent. I didn't know that. However, I will be telling it at the bar later. Like and you haven't quite heard it. Instead, I would like to tell you all a little bit about how me and Kevin became friends. With a story I feel really cemented our friendship. When I first met Kevin, he was a fresh faced shop assistant. My fresh faced. He couldn't grow any facial hair then, <laughs> not much has changed. <laughs> if I'm honest, when I first met Kevin, I found him quite annoying. <laughs> <laughs> he was always going, can I have some more work? I've done that job, I need a new job. <laughs> but quite frankly, he made the rest of us look so bad at our jobs, we had to get rid of him after Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> But alas, that was not the end of Kevin. It wasn't long before he was back in the shop, stood in front of me, this smug look on his face, that I'll never forget, getting his old job back. To which I replied to our store manager at the time, we're not hiring this guy back again, are we? It was in these next few seconds that I knew me and Kevin were going to be friends. When he simply replied with one cool, calm and collected statement, Nice moustache, Dad. <laughs> From that moment, I'm sure we would be friends. Just for reference, it was a goatee. <laughs> As we became friends, he confided in me that he wasn't particularly happy doing what he was doing. He was having some problems with work. I don't think the boss he had at the time helped much. And that you always said I was a pretty unreasonable manager. <laughs> Now it's customary for the best man to give some words of wisdom to the newlyweds on marriage. Me being single, I can't speak from experience, so I went out and about looking for happily married couples that could offer some advice. And I'll tell you now, I'm still looking. <laughs> Traditionally, the best man should include in his speech a sincere and kind remark about the day. And this would be very difficult for me if Elizabeth hadn't written this down for me. <laughs> <laughs> But seriously, there is an old saying, you don't marry someone because you can live with them, you marry them because you simply cannot live without them. And I think that sums up you two perfectly. So all my joking aside, to the real reason why we're here today, I'd like to give you a, very, a couple very much in love, and for whom I wish the absolute best in the future. 
Ladies and gents, please raise your wine glasses, your pint glasses and your hip flasks. <laughs> Kevin and Elizabeth. <laughs>